So children, let us learn how to draw the diagram for double fertilization in angiosperms. All right. So you all can see I have drawn one horizontal line as a base and then this three vertical lines because we are going to show the stigma style in the part of the ovary three times and then we will be uh, showing the ovary part only the section of the ovary over here. All right. So uh, this way you can get ready with your paper when you are practicing this diagram. Alright, so I'll be showing it with the pencil and then I'll mark it with the sketch pen so it will be visible to you all. Okay, so this consider this first as a center and draw these two things like, you know, a small tentacles taking it little in and now from here you can extend it out. Okay, extend them out. Do not make use of eraser more. Alright. So I hope it's this one is clear to you. All right. Second, same, same thing for second also. Go from start top, then go little inside. It's a narrow part, and then from here, take it again as a bulky portion. Okay. Should look similar. I mean, on both the sides, it should be. It should look similar. Okay. Second part. Again, in the third part, same thing. All right, take it closer to the central line and then move it out. Okay, move it out. So see, I'm not using eraser. So you all can see there are a bit of a changes in all the three, but it is fine. All right. But yes, if you want it to be very, very perfect, of course, what you can do is you can erase that and you can draw it again. So can you see here the first part in the first diagram, we just have to uh, draw the pollen grain. The pollen tube has not yet formed. So this will be just a pollen grain. And inside the part of the ovary, you can see there are double membrane structure, double membrane structure, which I'll be drawing like this. Okay one and we also have one more like this okay one more center part and this middle line we can also use to draw this we will label the diagram later all right just see how i'm drawing so you can follow that it is class 10 science 2 uh, diagrams which we are drawing all right the same part we'll be drawing it over here okay same way okay and one more membrane one more membrane all right and then this center part actually the center part is little up so you can make three no, the what we say claw claw shapes okay yeah now it has to be joined with this at the start because the pollen uh, grain will be developing a tube into the second part okay all right so we yes of course now i guess we have to make use of eraser here a bit okay i'll make it dark too children okay don't worry and uh, let us draw the pointers also the pointers three pointers showing that how the fertilization process is happening okay so one two and then in the center over here we will be again drawing those two membranes first all right two membranes See to it that they're not touching each other. Okay, we have a some, little bit of a space. Okay, and this membrane has one, two, and three. Right, tentacles or a uh, outgrowth. You can see two. Actually, these are nothing but ovules. Okay, I'm calling them outgrowth, but they are ovules. All right. So, in the first is as it is. The first figure is clear to you. First part. In the second part, what you have to do is the pollen grain is still here, but now your pollen grain is forming a tube like structure and trying to reach your ovule in the ovary. So, what we have to do, just be very careful here. See, what we are going to do is just extend this line of a pollen tube and try to join it to the 
ovule part all right and inside of this pollen tube we had male gametes so draw two male gametes like this you know moving down now in the third part again the central line will rub the center line all right and we'll be drawing the pollen tube pollen grain at the top and the pollen tube down okay towards the ovary and you can see into this last portion second last portion we will be drawing the male gametes over here so see from first second diagram you are showing a pollen tube with the male gametes and in the third diagram the male gametes are reaching down towards your ovule all right so let us let us name them first right we'll name them first and then we'll continue with the last part so this portion is called as stigma right i'm writing it here stigma then this is your style okay stigma then style and this whole portion this whole bulgy portion from this end to this end is your ovary all right what was this one this was pollen grain so label them accordingly wherever you have space in your page during the exam try to label everything towards the right side all right now go to the second part so first part is clear three parts stigma style ovary with the pollen grain now in the second figure what we will be doing in the second figure diagrams the pollen tube has been formed so let us write the name for pollen tube and this two what were they male gametes right so put arrows pointing towards them right yeah so this was a pollen tube so i'll write pollen tube and these two were male gametes right I was thinking with the by of using color paints but i guess this is uh, visible right this is visible so there is no need to use the color paints yeah we do like it you know when we were in the lower classes we used to color all the diagram but now in science we don't have to right so right this part is over second part now let us go to the third part in the third part what happens see the male gametes have reached here now we will be labeling this all parts so use the uh, what use the scale you know every time when you are labeling use the pointers okay pointers so what is this this is your embryo sac embryo sac okay and as i told you this uh, three uh, globule like structure what are they we can write them as the first one and the second one will mark see how we are using the space right these are ovules all right now the last part of our diagram okay last part i'll be drawing it here we are now only focusing for a part that is ovary all right so let us draw the ovary this part but i'm drawing it over here little bit i hope it is visible yes it is visible all right ovary so as we know two membranes so let us draw this two membranes okay from here and here okay do not use your eraser all right one more membrane mm -hmm. one more membrane okay all right now here at the end of this portion you know after whenever the fertilization is happening at the last end process of the fertilization what happens okay here we have three cells special cells which will be drawing like this name of these cells are antipodals okay we are not uh, explaining the process like what is happening in the double fertilization 
but the labelings right so label them as anti anti poodles okay anti poodles now in the center in the center there is a formation of i mean there is already a formation of a nucleus all right nucleus which has two small cells with a male gamete okay so this two nucleus in the center will called it as polar nucleus okay label this as polar nucleus and this one is your male gamete so see two male gametes have entered so this one is one male gamete i'll show you where is the second one just a minute male gamete okay now you can see this portion here also we need to draw three cells one two three out of which you can see this one is the egg cell okay egg cell and in the egg cells we have this one male gamete so the one arrow has to be here okay see how i'm going to draw it you know a bit of change but use the scale all right male gamete so what are these two cells called these two cells are synergids okay so if you have a space uh, to write or else I'll, I'll be mentioning them here it's very complicated no the last part i understand no problem if you will be practicing it then then that won't be the problem right synergids s y n e r g i d s synergids all right so see how uh, the male gametes one is been traveling to the egg cell and one is one is there in the center with the polar nucleus all right so that is what we need to draw in the double fertilization in angiosperm at the last here always remember when we complete this diagram we need to write the name of the diagram again with the pencil okay that is double fertilization double fertilization in angiosperm all right so at the end also we will be labeling the diagram i don't think we should make a use of uh, you know we should make use of what sketch pens because i guess this is more visible more nice with the pencil all right thank you